Welcome to Bronze Nation TV. Today we're going to be talking about the history of Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is a holiday that celebrates the May 5th, 1862 victory over France. It's also known as the Battle of Puebla Day. The true meaning of this celebration is of a single battle. This battle took place in 1861 under the presidency of the first indigenous president of Mexico, Benito Juarez. Juarez was a lawyer and member of the indigenous Zapotec tribe. At the time, the country was in a financial ruin after the war of the reform broke just three years earlier. Mexico was basically broke and President Juarez was forced to default on payments to the European governments. In response to the defaulted payments, France, Britain, and Spain responded by sending their naval forces to Veracruz. Soon after the invasion, Britain and Spain negotiated with Mexico and withdrew their forces. This was not the case for Napoleon III and his French army. France saw an opportunity to take over the Mexican territory. In later months of 1861, the French arrived to Veracruz with an extremely strong presence, estimated 6,500 troops. They set out to attack Puebla de Los Angeles, a small town in East Central Mexico. President Juarez rounded up about 600 to 1,000 Mexican warriors. Many of these warriors were mestizos or indigenous. These troops were sent to Puebla. They knew that they would be vastly outnumbered and poorly supplied, but they had the heart and drive to be victorious. The Mexicans were led by a Texas-born general by the name of Ignacio Zaragoza. He heartened the town and prepared them for the oncoming French assault. On May 5th, 1862, the well-armed French invaded the city of Puebla and found themselves in front of some fearless Mexicans ready to die for their country. The battle lasted from daybreak to early evening. The French found themselves defeated at the end of the day and finally retreated. In this one battle, the French lost 500 soldiers compared to the 80 to 100 Mexican lives lost. After the battle, Benito Juarez declared Cinco de Mayo a holiday. Today, for Mexican nationals, Cinco de Mayo has taken a backseat to September 16th. Many people, including many Mexican Americans, think that Cinco de Mayo is Mexican Independence Day, a popular misconception. In the United States, on the other hand, Cinco de Mayo gained traction during the 1960s when Chicano activists began looking for a way to honor their cultura and heritage. Today, the biggest Cinco de Mayo celebrations are in the United States, particularly in the cities with large Mexican-American presence. If you're ever in Los Angeles on the Cinco de Mayo, you can't miss the Fiesta Broadway. It's an amazing celebration attended by hundreds of thousands of people. Thank you for joining Bronze Nation on this Cinco de Mayo history lesson. Please subscribe to the channel. We would greatly appreciate it. Please like and share. Thank you once again, Bronze Nation. Thank you, my raza.